since the withdrawal of US troops from Afghanistan in 2021. This not only means the end of the era of chaotic war in Afghanistan, but also marks the beginning of a new chapter of development. However, due to the long-term conflict, Afghanistan has fallen into financial difficulties and is in urgent need of economic reconstruction and development. At this critical moment, Afghanistan has set its sights on China, viewing trade cooperation and natural resource development as key means to promote economic recovery. During this period, Afghanistan signed a historic 25-year oil contract with China. However, Afghanistan's development ambitions do not stop there. At present, Afghanistan has also set its sights on the important channel connecting South Asia and Central Asia. Interestingly, Afghanistan has repeatedly invited China to participate in the construction of the corridor, but has been rejected. Now, the situation has changed rapidly. After the Ring of the Himalayas Forum, Afghanistan not only invited Iran to participate in the project, but also successfully obtained China's consent. However, this decision was regarded by the Western media as a threat to the US Indo-Pacific strategy. So, what impact will the strategic corridor jointly developed by Afghanistan, China, and Iran have on them? How will it challenge the US strategic layout in the Indo-Pacific region? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world, and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. The Waken Corridor is a narrow passage with a total length of about 1,700 meters, located in northeastern Afghanistan and bordering China. From the map, it looks like a mysterious link hidden in the Pamas, connecting Afghanistan to the world. Unfortunately, due to long-term civil war and unrest, this strategically important corridor has not been effectively developed so far. Since the Taliban took over Afghanistan in 2021, in the second half of 2022, the Taliban regime began to seek the development of this corridor. As far as I know, the Taliban has issued cooperation invitations to China many times, hoping to use China's strength to promote Afghanistan's reconstruction and economic development, but these invitations have been rejected by China. There are two main reasons why China rejects the Taliban. On the one hand, the Waken Corridor is located in the Pama Plateau, with an average altitude of more than 4,000 meters. High cold, hypoxia, and complex geological conditions have brought great difficulties to construction and construction. In addition, the climate conditions of the Waken Corridor are extremely harsh with ice and snow covering the period from October to April each year, and snowmelt period from May to September, making most areas inaccessible during these two periods. More importantly, infrastructure construction in the Waken Corridor is difficult and takes a long time, requiring huge economic costs. As an economically backward country, Afghanistan cannot afford these costs. On the other hand, although the Taliban has been in power for more than two years, its domestic situation is not as stable as people expected. For example, the Islamic State, the East Turkestan Islamic Movement and the Balochistan Liberation Army are still very active in Afghanistan. Against this background, opening up the Waken Corridor will bring unpredictable security pressure to China's northwest. In order to ensure domestic security, China is bound to deploy a large number of troops and defense facilities in border areas, which will undoubtedly significantly increase China's expenditure on border control and large weapons and equipment. According to forecasts, this cost will exceed 2 billion US dollars. If the Taliban cannot take resolute measures against these extremist forces, China will not relent on the Waken Corridor issue. However, the Waken Corridor is not only an important channel connecting Afghanistan and China, but also an important pillar supporting Afghanistan's foreign trade and economic development. Therefore, 
China has repeatedly rejected Afghanistan's requests, but Afghanistan has not given up its plan to promote the Waken Corridor. After the Ring of the Himalayas Forum in October 2023, Afghanistan actively seeks cooperation with Iran and introduces Iran to the Waken Corridor. Through Iran's participation, Afghanistan used it as a bargaining chip to once again invite China to join the construction of the Waken Corridor. Fortunately, China finally agreed to join the corridor after much consideration. So, what impact will the Waken Corridor jointly built by Afghanistan, China, and Iran have? In fact, once the Waken Corridor is successfully constructed, Afghanistan's mineral and oil resources will be more easily exported to the Chinese market. Previously, Afghanistan could only export 1 million tons of talcor per year, but after the Waken Corridor is completed, this number will increase to 3 million tons. At present, Afghanistan has proven copper ore reserves of about 1 billion tons and iron ore reserves of about 150 million tons. However, due to the lack of effective mining and processing technology, these resources have not been fully utilized. The opening of the Waken Corridor will provide Afghanistan with a platform to connect with the world market, attract investors and partners from all over the world, and achieve mutual benefit and win-win results. With the vigorous economic development of Central Asia, trade exchanges between China and Central Asian countries have become increasingly close. But existing trade routes present many challenges. For example, land transportation needs to pass through multiple countries, which is not only time-consuming but also costly, making it difficult to meet the growing trade demand. Through the Waken Corridor, China can directly transport goods to Pakistani ports and then transfer them to other countries, greatly improving transportation efficiency. This increased efficiency allows China to trade with Central Asian countries more efficiently and further expand its market size. The most obvious example is that the current trade volume between China and Central Asia and Europe has exceeded 30 billion US dollars and is expected to reach 60 billion US dollars by 2025. As an important oil exporter in the world, Iran's oil export revenue is crucial to the country's economic development. However, due to geographical restrictions and the impact of international sanctions, Iran's oil exports have always faced high costs. Despite this, Iran's oil export revenue still reached 42.6 billion US dollars in 2022. However, with the opening of the Waken Corridor, Iran's oil export revenue is expected to further increase to 62 billion dollars. As the number of oil exports increases, Iran's oil industry will become busier and will need to recruit a large number of talents. According to predictions, the opening of the Waken Corridor will provide Iran with more than 100,000 jobs. Interestingly, although the Waken Corridor has extremely high strategic value as an important passage connecting China, Central Asia, and the Middle East. However, Western media generally believe that its development poses a direct challenge to US global strategy, especially for its important pillar in Asia, the Indo-Pacific strategy. What is going on? The Belt and Road Initiative is an important economic cooperation project promoted by China on a global scale, aiming to promote economic development and cooperation in countries and regions along the route. With the development of the Waken Corridor, China will be more closely connected with Central and East Asian countries, which will further expand China's global economic influence. The United States has long been trying to safeguard its interests in Asia through the Indo-Pacific strategy, especially by supporting local governments and armed groups to maintain its strategic position in Central Asia and Afghanistan. However, with the development of the Waken Corridor, China's influence in the region will be further enhanced, which will undoubtedly pose a direct challenge to the United States Indo-Pacific strategic layout. In addition, the development of the Waken Corridor may also face new challenges to the security and military layout of the United States in the Indo-Pacific region. 
especially in Afghanistan after the U.S. withdrawal. The greater involvement of China and Iran in Afghanistan may change the regional security landscape and affect U.S. security interests in the region. It is worth mentioning that, as a strategic passage connecting China, Iran, and Afghanistan, the Wakan Corridor carries the expectations of the three countries for common development. But there are a number of challenges that still need to be overcome before the project can be implemented. After all, the construction of this huge project requires huge financial support, and the geographical complexity during the construction process has also caused a lot of trouble. It will take at least five years. In the future, we have reason to believe that despite facing many difficulties, China, Iran and Afghanistan will work together to overcome everything and jointly pave the road to prosperity in the Wakan Corridor. So, what impact do you think the Wakan Corridor jointly built by the three countries will have? Why do you think the Wakan Corridor will affect the US Indo-Pacific strategy? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to share your thoughts and feelings.